Hello Fly Tires, welcome to another episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk on the Angler Made YouTube channel. This is going to be a really awesome video because we're going to show some live action at the end and show you the difference between a, a traditionally tied fly and a balanced tied fly. So when you're tying, so first off I'm going to show you how to tie a, a balanced minnow and the first thing you want to do is you've got to create the balance and you do that by getting um, just a, a regular craft pin and sliding a bead onto it and I always slide the big end of the bead up against the head and a lot of times your craft pins are too long so what I do is I use this and I, I cut the craft pin to where it's not so long that it's, it's uh, getting in the way of the tail of the fly. So First off, we're going to tie on our craft pin. These are some new rainbow beads that I got off of eBay. Kind of cool. They're kind of blue, red, purple, pink, green, all different colors. We're going to try them this spring, see how they work. Just something different. Okay, you can see when I cut that pin off, I left a little bit of a barb there, but that's going to be okay because it's going to be covered up. So, we're going to go towards the back of the hook, and we're going to get a turkey flat, or you can just use marabou. And I like this real fluffy stuff on the, on the turkey flat. If I'm tying something with a shorter tail, which this minnow has, And the reason is, the fluffier it is, the more movement I get in the water. See, it's quite fluffy. Next thing I'm going to do is, we're going to get a little bit of crystal flash. Probably just four strands. I'm going to tie that on there. And I cut it just longer than my tail. And then I get one more little clump of turkey flat marabou. And I put it on the top. So now you can see I've got a nice fluffy tail that's going to move in the water. Okay, next thing we're going to do is just get some good old crystal braid and with this I'm going to tie it on the side of the hook all the way to the front Just like so. And what we'll do is we'll just start wrapping it through. You see it'll cover up that pin that didn't cut so well. Didn't leave myself much room with that crystal braid, but didn't waste any material. All right, so now we get it to this point. I'm going to cinch this down right up against the bead. And then I actually like to put just a little dab of super glue, thin stuff, so that it cements the material up against the bead and that bead doesn't end up spinning as I catch fish after fish after fish after fish with this fly. Sometimes it'll strip the material down and your bead won't be secure. And so if you put a little dab of super glue on top of the material and it sinks down in there, it tends to 
hold it nice and tight. All right. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a couple eyes. And I tend to like a little bit bigger eye on my flies. And the reason is, I think the eye is a trigger for the fish. So what we're going to do... Oop. Most of the time the eyes are a little bit sticky. Let's put one on that side. We'll get our second one. Put it on the other side. And this is a nice fly because whether you're a bass fisherman, a bluegill, trout, doesn't really matter. This thing is going to catch fish because as we learned in elementary school, whoops, I made a tear with the UV glue. That's how you make a crying minnow. But as we learned in grade school, big fish eat little fish. Okay, so I put some thin, I'll we'll actually put a little bit more in. All right. Now what we're gonna do is get some thick UV glue and we're gonna put it right on top of everything. All right, now we're going good. And now it's just about building the minnow with your UV glue. And you'll see, I'm gonna try to taper it. And then start spinning it so as it drips, it actually shapes itself. So now I'll put some on the bottom. Okay, one thing you'll see is when I hit that with the UV glue, I actually got some in my eye of the hook. So what I'll do is just clean that out, and that just saves me time in the future, because UV glue is kind of hard to clean out of the eye of a hook. Okay, so you can see as I spin this around and that glue starts to harden, I start to get a little more of a taper. Now what we'll do is we'll really build up the top of this towards the front. And then we'll actually put just a little bit more bottom as well. Careful not to spin that back around. Now I'll hit it hard. Okay, so now you can see you've got a nice, clear, translucent body with a cool looking tail. It's actually going to sit in the water like that. And that bead on top just gives it a little more sparkle, a little better look. But I, like I said before, I like bigger eyes. I'm a perfectionist. I don't like that. It's got a little gap in it. Settle in. Alright, 
that's better. Okay. So I think the eyes are a trigger for the fish. That's going to sit in the water just like that. Underneath the strike indicator, horizontal in the water. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the aquarium that we got my son for Christmas along with six fish and within three weeks they were all dead. We have no idea why, what happened. So we bought three more and they died. So all we can say is we must have contaminated water that we've been drinking for years and it's affecting the aquarium fish. So now we're going to use it for fly tying videos. So I guess jokes on my son it was actually my Christmas present. So but I'm sure he'll help me do some videos in it. So that my friends is a balanced minnow and we will now go to the uh, aquarium and I'll show you how they look in the water. Okay, this is what your fly looks like underwater on just a traditional um, streamer hook. No balance and it's underneath the strike indicator and you can see it's sitting vertical in the water. Now as the wind blows there's some waves it kind of dances around. So not bad. And then this is when you tie a balanced fly. That's how a balanced fly sits in the water. So you can see it still dances around. This has even got a shorter tail. But it's instead of a vertical dance it stays horizontal in the water. And the theory is, is it's a more natural look fish love it and they eat it way more than a traditionally tied fly. So that's what a balanced streamer, this is just a couple minnow patterns, looks like look like in the water. Well I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Aaron at the Fly Desk on the Angler Made YouTube channel and you can see how awesome this minnow looks and how awesome balance flies actually work in the water. I've never thought about that. I fished for years underneath the strike indicator. Caught a lot of fish. I'm not saying traditional flies don't work. I just believe that balance flies work better when fished under a strike indicator and quite frankly when stripped in. We're going to do another video on that and show you how to strip a balance fly. So thank you for watching. Aaron at the Fly Desk and we will see you on the water sometime.